This week on Felt Focus, we see a forlorn monkey that just can't seem to keep his hair up. A baby elephant that sticks out like a, a pink elephant. A cobra interrupts a beach party, and a rhino tries to give a helping horn. Welcome to this week's episode of Felt Focus. It's great to be back in studio with you. First up, let's take a look at this entry of a very large cobra sent in by Jeffrey Rink, which is causing a huge stir on the beach. It's not actually uncommon for snakes to appear on the beach, and some even enjoy an occasional surf in the waves. But eventually, after a few handfuls of sand thrown in its general direction, it gets the hint and heads off into the bushes. Now, this little elephant is causing just as much of a spectacle. Most elephants, as big as they are, have an amazing ability to simply melt into the bush. Their uniform gray skin camouflaging their bulk surprisingly well. This little guy, however, photographed by Tanya Bierkes while in the Kruger National Park, sticks out from a mile away. According to experts, the calf may be a true albino, as both its eyelashes and tail hairs lack pigment and are pale in color. Whatever color it may be, the herd accepts it and protects it unconditionally as one of their own. The odd touch of sunburn will probably be the biggest hurdle that this little elephant will have to endure. Did you know the term white elephant describes something expensive that serves no real purpose? This term originates from Southeast Asia where monarchs possessed a white elephant as a sign that they were ruling fairly or would give one as a gift to demonstrate respect. Because these animals were so rare, sacred laws prohibited that they be used for labor like regular elephants. So it was both a great privilege and a great curse to possess one. In terms of odd looking animals, this poor little vervet monkey takes things to a completely different level. These photos were sent in by Jane Symes in Ntenzini, and we are all in agreement with her that this is by far the strangest monkey we've ever seen. At first, we thought it might have mange, a skin disease caused by a parasitic mite. But according to wildlife vets, the monkey is in fact suffering from a rare case of congenital alopecia. In humans, this condition is usually caused by severe stress. But we can only wonder what's going on in the life of this highly social animal that is stressful enough to cause it to shed all its hair. The poor creature resembles Gollum, searching for his precious. Now this eel, no matter how relaxed, will never win any prizes for being cute and cuddly. But this video sent in by Zan Peters does give us a great opportunity to see how they feed out of water. It grabs a piece of fish and twists, using its whole body to break off a chunk. Still rather slimy looking, and something I'd prefer not to step on in a river. Did you know? there are over 400 species of eel in the world. The slender moray eel is the largest of them and can reach up to four meters in length. While on the topic of seldom seen feeding habits, these next photos sent in by Matthew Smith in Mpumalanga show a rarely seen darker side of the common dacre. The little antelope seems to have something in her mouth and it's not leaves. She's found the remains of a dead bird and is chewing on it with such enthusiasm, it looks like she's taking lessons on how to become an aspiring predator. A little known fact about this species of dacre is that they will actively hunt nesting birds and rodents, as well as munch on the odd bit of carrion for extra protein. What a strange sight, and a great moment caught on camera. Thanks, Matthew. Now this unfortunate zebra fall photographed by Rul van Meiden has definitely had better days. According to Rul, the zebra was severely tired and dehydrated when the rhino arrived at the scene. Whether the rhino was actually trying to help the little guy out, or he was simply annoyed with the pesky creature in his private mud wallow, we'll never know. But apparently, the modified game of tossing the caber did unstick the fall. But whether he survived, we can only hope. That's all we have for you this week. But before we end off, take a look at this perfectly timed picture sent in by Mike Saliers of a little bee eater catching a cricket. The tiny bird snatches the insect with Swiss precision, but the scene, frozen in the second the picture was taken, makes it look like the cricket was holding the jaws of death from snapping shut on its head. A plus for effort, little cricket. Thanks so much for joining us. Keep sending in all your fabulous photographic efforts to info at 5050.co.za.